Hey guys, I am back here with another review of Japanese characters. Uh, ja Japanese character toys, I should say, actually. Um, this time I'm going to be reviewing uh, blind box figures uh, from the Persona 4 Golden, or it could have been the animated series, I forgot. Um, half age characters from Bandai. Um, and so if you guys haven't played Persona 4, it is one of the best games that's ever came out. It's uh, it's got school sim, it's got dating sim. Although you know, let's let's try not to sound creepy. The dating sim isn't really that important in the game. Um, it's more like it's more like a relationship ship sim where you form relationships, bonds with people, and they don't have to be romantic. You know, you create a bond with a fellow guy, you create a bond with a girl. Not necessarily whatever. So maybe it's it was a little uh, dishonest of me or, or or incorrect of me to call it dating sim. But yeah, it's a school sim. It's a relationship sim, it's an RPG, and you collect personas, which are what you use to fight in battles, and almost in the way that you collect Pokemon. So that's really awesome. This thing's got everything. It's one of the best games I've ever, ever played in my life. And um, and uh, the, the, the my first experience with it was uh, Persona 4 Golden on the PS Vita. And oh my god, I put 100 hours into it, swear to god. And, and uh, I'm going to start a new game probably in a couple months new game plus anyway so so uh while my friend was over in japan forced her to pick up persona 4 uh stuff for me basically said just look for big yellow animes which is uh uh the flagship color uh for the persona series a very bright uh yellow which which is uh, re really great for branding for them uh that they didn't go for red anyway so uh, as mentioned before, this this collection is a blind box figure collection from Bandai, and uh, the series is called Half Age Figures or Half Age Characters, something like that. And uh, basically, the point was to create younger versions of current characters. Um, but I, I would I would correct them and say that not, not all of these really seem half age. Um, for example, Nanako over here, she pretty much looks like her age, but maybe a little bit younger. However, you know these these look just a bit younger. Um, and, and please do correct me if this isn't part of the Half Age um, blind box set. Um, because I actually did not get the boxes with these. Uh, my friend just got it loose uh, while in Japan. So whatever, you know, correct me. Uh, however, I do not think I'm incorrect in calling them that. But yeah, uh, basically I feel like Half Age is a good excuse just to make them younger, uh, as mentioned before. So let's go through all these characters. Um... Here, we see one of the versions of uh, Yukiko, one of the main female protagonists in the series with her uh, really, really terrible, awful uh, purple curry. And if anybody knows curry, it should have been just brown. So she spilled it all over herself. She looks like she's in a state of shock. Very detailed, um, good detailing on the eyes. Not a single paint app that is out of place. Her skirt also has some really nice uh, detail in it, giving it some uh, some texture and everything. The pot is permanently affixed to her knee, so she's no matter what you do. I mean, you could probably you know cut it off or or un unhinge it or something, but you know why would you do that? Yeah. So very cute figure of Yukiko. Moving on, we're gonna go to Nanako with a Juness bag. Coquettishly looking at these egg, this eggplant while blushing. Uh, she also has a like a leak in her bag, which is pretty cute. She's got the kind of inwardly facing, I don't know, pigeon toe or whatever you want to call it, that um, the Asian cultures find adorable to draw. Which kind of gives it a. You know, I, I believe the feeling of that is just to give a. An outward sign of cuteness, maybe. Here's the next figure. It's a little bit different from the rest, as I thought the rest were kind of based on their normal costumes that they wear. We've got Rise, which is wearing her pop star outfit rather than her uh, school uniform. In the storyline, she was a pop star that decided to take a break and was tired of it. So she's got, you know, again, like all the other figures. Extremely good detailing. No paint app is out of place. She's holding a mic up. She's obviously singing or something. Got the twin tails. 
very kind of simplified, basic, cute sculpting. Finally, we got Chie holding steak, holding a beef skewer, which uh, you can actually release from her arm, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've only got so many hands. Let's see if I can do this on my own. We're going to be leaning this on Chie's face, and I'm going to be stealing her beef steak. My beef steak. Oh. Nobody cared. Right, so I'm gonna put this back. Yeah. With Chie, she's got her uh, uh, her trademark green uh, uh, jumper or whatever you want to call it, with the three buttons on it. There is once again uh, some texture slash detailing on her skirt. You can see her panties, <laughs> I guess. Um, she's about to, she looks like she's just about to kick somebody, so she's probably about to punish me for for doing that. Uh, once again, paint apps are amazing. And yeah. So typically I think these run about 900, uh, 800 yen, maybe, 900 yen uh, for a blind box. There's apparently one variation for each of these where they're wearing their um, telltale... Uh, Persona 4 glasses, which helps them look through the fog in the uh, in the alternate world in the television. Uh, I did not want that, so I've probably bothered my friend and made her look for the glassesless version. And it turns out, uh, when she was looking, the version without the glasses costed more because I guess not a lot of people just wanted the glasses um, to kind of obscure the uh, the sculpting and the paint jobs for the faces. So yeah, there you have it. Extremely cute figures from Persona 4 that you're unlikely ever to see on these shores unless you import it for quite a bit of money. I was a big enough fan that I forced her to get these for me, and for that I am eternally grateful. So there you have it. Half-age characters from Persona 4, the animation slash 